I've got the lovely bunch of coconuts, tiddly dee, there they are, standing in a row, bum. What's going on, y'all? Paul Barbarian here. I got a special little thing I'm doing today. Um, I was sent this axe from a workshop over in Russia. It's called World Workshop, and their last, their, the last three are I, I, I. Uh, I put this thing through the ringer. Um, we're going to talk about it, we're going to look at a couple of things, and SMASH SOME SHIT! So let's talk about the anatomy of this axe here real quick. It's got these short little lingettes coming down the side. It's set up on this poly plastic handle. It doesn't really need a whole lot of lingettes, and I didn't blow out any of the rivets that are sitting in it. We've... We beat the crap out of this thing. <laughs> this handle is very surprising how much weight it can take. This handle does not... It can sit under my weight and has no issues springing back to straight. They finish it off with a nice pommel. Uh, good for getting the clacker out of there if you're using this for duels. Uh, it's kind of what I want to use it for ACS uh, War Axe duels, which are going to be hilarious with full plate with hammerhead strikes. Bang! Another part about this axe, they personalized it for me. I asked them to put my little uh, insignia and stamp on there, and it's etched in there. It's not just a, a piece of bluing or something like that. It's actually cut into the steel and stamped there. Um, it's pretty dope. They have these little uh, these little weight holes cut out of here. This is actually historically accurate. It makes the axe a little bit lighter, but it also transfers all that force still all the way through this straight line that's running there. Um, and it just, it's supposed to crush helmets and smash people right off their horses. That's the idea of this weapon. When I was swinging this up at the hall, um, getting it both going like this and getting the butt spike in, I like this nice heavy butt spike. It lets the head come back really well, um, but you can still bop somebody. You can get out there and get somebody with it, and it makes a noise when you hit them. I'm like, bah. It hits pretty strong, it drives through things, and then hammer back just is vicious. It's vicious. Oh yeah. This axe is a wonderful product. I enjoyed swinging it around. I I'm gonna keep swinging it around. But if you want to check out weapons like this and check out the uh, workshop, World Workshop, III at Instagram, it's the easiest way to get a hold of them. They're really communicative. They work with you and they will make you what you want. And if you want to have some custom fun stuff on it, they're down for it. Uh, check them out. There's gonna be a link down in the description below along with my link train and all that stuff. Uh, if you have any questions about stuff, uh, ask me. Um, and you can hit them up and ask some questions. They love it. They love talking about stuff. So, we're smashing shit. Okay, now it's on to the testing stage. We've got this big axe. Let's see what World Workshop I, I can put out. Uh, we have a shield here that I use for rattan fights. It's just at the end of its life, and I put a pot underneath it. Let's just see what happens. Sure. People say coconuts are good analog for your skull. Sure. That's a big five and a half foot long axe they hit it with. Just splatters. See what the hammerhead does. Yeah, it's the best nutcracker. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Love smashing stuff. That's why I gave you an extra shirt. Got another shield there. It's actually made for boot herd fighting. There's a little bit of pineapple underneath of it. Just give it a little bit of give, like your hand, arm would be there. I mean, I hit the same spot. Cut right through it though. Got a helmet for stick fighting. I'm gonna hit it. Ooh, it, no matter what you're doing, that's gonna hurt. That's just gonna hurt all, all the way home. Yeah, with the hammer. That ring. Oh, oh, you a dead man. You a dead man. I hit you like that, you a dead man. Okay, these polyplastic handles are what they say can't break, right? Says it can take my weight. Whoop. That's... That's still pretty stinking straight. So, 
the last test I'm gonna do this thing is the scariest one because this is the strongest thing I can think of. It's a piece of railroad line. That's what millions of pounds of train go on. The hardest test for this axe is gonna be hitting this piece of railroad with that axe in it. Namely, just because I want to see if it actually can hold up to it. I mean, I'm hitting the hardest thing I could possibly think of. Uh, and railroad ties what I use for anvil, so smash it. Be really, really true with this. I felt it drive too. And there's still nothing more than a little blemish on the edge. A little bit of rolling. That's great. Now that we've run it through the ringer and I've beat it up, I have beat it up. It's a little muddy, it's a little juicy, but who doesn't like a juicy X every now and again? I want to thank World Workshop III for sending me this uh, sending me this crazy, awesome axe. Check them out on Instagram. Uh, I do believe they're on Facebook and a couple other places. But primarily Instagram. I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, check out my link tree down in the description below. Um, get out, get some fights. We're in beautiful June weather. It's going to look awesome this summer. We've got a couple of events coming up. We've got Valhalla Battle and Beer. we got a couple other things going on. Uh, we're going to have something going on here in D.C. Uh, Y'all be easy, be safe, but get vicious. Get the fuck out. <laughs>